So this is my website. And if I scroll down, it gives this cool dynamic effect. As you can see, the mountains move to the sides. The moon is also moving to the top left. And the text comes right to the center. Looks good, right? This style is called the parallax effect. And I'll show you the easiest way to do this in just a few minutes. First, some disclaimers. I'm doing this on a staging site to be safe. And second, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. For the background, I'll go to the style tab and pick this image. Let's set the position to center and the display size to cover. I want the background to stay in place, so I'll keep the attachment option fixed and keep it no repeat. I want the background to fade out a bit when I scroll, so I'll turn this on and add some blur. I'll also set it to fade out. Let's quickly adjust the level and viewport range from here. Awesome, our base is ready. Now I'll drop in an image widget like this and keep the resolution at full. Then I'll head to the advanced section and set the position to absolute. Next, I'll duplicate the image widget four times for the different layers. Now I'll select the first image widget and insert the mountains layer like this. In the advanced tab, let's change the Z index to one. Okay, for the scrolling effect, I'll choose horizontal scroll and set the speed to this. To make the image sticky, I'll select bottom and choose slide up for the entrance animation. Moving on to the next widget, I'll insert another mountain image, which should be a darker shade than the previous one for the layering effect in the background. In that one section, let's increase the Z index to three to bring the image to the front. Then I'll go to the motion effects and select horizontal scroll to the right with a speed of somewhere around this. Then I'll upload the third mountain image for the mountain layer. After that, I'll go to the advanced section and add the Z index like this. You can see how the mountains layer stack up. Let's proceed to the next container and insert the image. I'll use a picture of a moon for this one and set the image resolution to medium. I'll head to the advanced section to make it look like the moon is rising behind the mountains. I'll start by increasing the horizontal orientation offset to the maximum and setting the vertical orientation offset to 110. Then let's set the entrance animation from the motion effects menu. After that, I'll enable scrolling effects and adjust the viewport and speed for both vertical and horizontal scroll. Moving on to the last container, I'll use this forest image as the final layer of the foreground. I'll then add a Z index value of five. Okay, the last thing we need is heading. I'll drag the text widget. Next, I'll move the Z index and set it to five. Then I'll go to motion effects and choose top for the sticky settings. Now let's see how it looks. So I'll open up my website, scroll down a bit. And it looks good to me. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.